Hello and welcome. My name is Bonnie and today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf declutter. Now it is not going to be that bookshelf that you see in the background of my videos. I actually have a second bookshelf that actually holds my books. <laughs> I figured since I am home, I am socially distancing myself because of the coronavirus. I figured since I'm here, I might as well do something constructive and maybe tidy up a bit. So I'm going to be going through my books and I know there are some that I'm just never going to read again. So I'm going to create a pile for donation and then a pile for what I'm keeping. And I will go ahead and take you along on that journey. So here is my second bookshelf. And as you can see, it is a little bit of a mess, a little bit in disarray, and it was very, very cramped. So cramped, I can't even fit all of the books. But also, the this bottom row and this second row, you can see the books are doubled up on one shelf. So that kind of shows you there's there's a lot of books here. And that is exactly why I need to do my declutter today. I am going to start out with these four here since they are in front of others. First, we have Pride and Prejudice. I have never read Pride and Prejudice. This was given to me as a gift and at some point I would like to read it. So this is a keep. Next, I have this set of To All the Boys I've Loved Before and the two that come after. P.S. I Still Love You and Always and Forever, Laura Jean. I bought these when I saw the first movie on Netflix because I really liked the first movie, but I have a really hard time reading it because I get bored. Unfortunately, these don't really capture my interest, but I'm wondering if I should just try since I haven't actually read them and I have three, maybe I should just keep trying. Okay, I'm gonna keep these just because I want to like them. <laughs> Not a good start to the declutter, but I'm, I'm gonna keep these. All right, now we have got West Side Story by Irving Shulman. I did a project on this senior year of high school. Surprisingly dark book, and I'm gonna keep it. Here we have Stardust. I did a project on this sophomore year of high school. Good book, gonna keep that. We have Dave Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. I've never read this, but my grandpa gave it to me, so I'm gonna keep it. Then, <laughs> then we have some Nicholas Sparks novels. This is when I tried to get into Nicholas Sparks and I failed because I wasn't that into it. So I'm going to donate Dear John, The Notebook, and The Rescue. I don't think I even opened this one. I think I just didn't care. So donate pile. Next up, we have The Intellectual devotional of American history. This is my husband's. Obviously gonna keep, it's not even mine. Next up we have, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? And Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling. It's a good autobiography, keeping that. Ellen DeGeneres, Seriously, I'm Kidding. Donate. Oh, here we have the Bible. I'm gonna keep this. Um, this, I put, when I was in high school, it's very trendy to put stickers on your on your Bible, so I did. I've never even been to this place. I just got a sticker of it, and then there's one down here. It says, Jesus loves me too, because I was vegetarian. I was vegetarian for 10 years, and I got these for free from PETA, so. <laughs> anyway, let's see, let's try, to, let's try to keep this in order. Tina Fey, it's a good autobiography, but do I want to keep it? Am I gonna read it again? I don't think I am, so I will donate that. Amy Poehler, yes please, another good autobiography. But I also got this on audiobook, so I think I can clear up my shelves a little bit and donate this. Next up, whew, oh boy. I have got The Maze Runner. I have got the four books, The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, and I dropped on the floor and the kill order. Um, I read the first two. My husband read all four and I don't see myself picking up these books again. So I will donate. But next up, we have got Game of Thrones. I have five novels. I 
<laughs> it's hard to hold them all up at one time. All right, let's try this again. Here we have Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons. I will be keeping these. My husband likes these books. I've only read the first two because they're very long and I've gotten a little bit bored while reading it. I know people are like, the books are so much better than the show, but I've gotten a little bored. But that's just me. I get bored easily when I read books. So um, next up, we have my kind of like JK Rowling section. First, we have The Casual Vacancy. I will keep. We've got Tales of Beetle the Bard and Quidditch Through the Ages and the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I'll keep these. The Cuckoo's Calling. The Silkworm. Oh, I have the other ones on audiobook because like I thought I had more. I have them on audiobook, so I will be keeping these. Then we have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Donate. Just kidding. I'm not going to donate. I'm going to keep it. But I don't have fond feelings for this book. Um, and then the last thing on this shelf, ooh, we're done, is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find the Niffler, a behind-the-scenes guide to the creature and fellow characters on film. I don't think I need this. It's cute. It's a cute little book, but I, I don't think that I want to hold on to it. So donate. So as I go along, I am going to be putting my keepers back onto the shelf so that I don't have a big task at the end of this. So I will go ahead and set these up here and then meet back up with you for the next shelf. So then we start working on this beast right here. So as you can see, it is two layers deep, so I have got some work to do right here. Okay, let's get those back on there and go in order. First up, I have got Reader's Digest Best Loved Books. This is a set of abri abridged books. This is Little Women, Tales of Poe, Mutiny on the Bounty, and Messer Marco Polo. I'm actually borrowing this from my parents right now. I will return that to them, so I guess I can create like a return pile, except I'm not returning to a store. I'm returning to a lender. Then we have got Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I got this at a library sale for 50 cents for my husband, and he's not ready yet, but I'll keep it for him anyway. Then we have The Secret of the Fortune Wookiee, another um, library sale. I think this is mostly just like a kid's book. I haven't actually read any of it at all. I think I'll just donate it. I don't think I'm going to. It, it It was just funny. I think I bought it more as a joke, but oh well, I'll donate that now. And then I have Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace in book form, which is, I have not cracked this one open either, um, but I would like to, so I'm gonna keep it. And there's pictures. Spooky. Um, I actually have so so many more Star Wars books, you don't even know the half of it. So that's gonna be on this bottom shelf. So um, next up, Peter Pan, I'll keep that. Holes, I'll keep that. Then we have got a collection. I bought this book, The Enchantress, at a library sale, 50 cents again, but then found out like this is part of a series and the first one is the alchemist and i think the second one is the magician so i actually bought these off of thriftbooks.com that's where i get a lot of my used books um and i kind of started reading it but i didn't really get into it and i don't know if i will i would mm -hmm. should i keep these or should i not it's just because i bought like several so i'm like i spent some money on it i should probably try to keep it and read it but i honestly don't think i will so i'm gonna put those in my donate pile next we have the princess bride i have bought this in a in a sale 50 cents haven't read it need to so i'm gonna keep that the girl who the girl with the dragon tattoo and the girl who played with fire bought those for my husband keep those hand mending made easy for sewing. Um, this actually has good sewing tips in it. I'll keep that. 
Dimitri Martin's This Is A Book. Um, I bought this years ago. Years ago. Um, I think I'll keep it. I think I'll keep it. Dimitri Martin is a funny, funny person. Inheritance. Oh, this is one of the um, Aragon books. I've got those over here. Um, yeah. Does it have a cover? I'm gonna have to ask my husband. He's he's the one who's into these. Um, I'll keep it. I hope it has its cover somewhere. The unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. I have received this as a gift, which was very, very sweet. I have not used it as a cookbook, um, but I'm gonna keep it. Oh, this is this is like a, a scrapbook kind of thing. Emily Winsnap and the Castle in the Mist. Haven't read it. <laughs> Another library book, 50 cent book. Um, I will, ooh, what do I do? I'll, I'll try it out. I'll keep it just to try it out. I honestly forgot that I had that. Then we have Michael Crichton, Jurassic Park and the Lost World. Um, keep it. That's a really cool book. To Kill a Mockingbird. I loved this in high school, so I got it again uh, for myself. Keep that. The Portable Dante, The Divine Comedy. I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> I think I'm going to donate that. The Rise of Theodore Roosevelt. That's my husband's favorite president. And I got this book from my grandpa, so I will be keeping that. And then we come to Aragon and Eldest and Brissinger. Brissinger. I will keep these because those are my husband's and he loves this series. So that was the first row of the second row shelf. The first row of the second shelf. Now let's work on this. Let me set this to the side. First off, I have got World War Z and the Zombie Survival Guide. I read World War Z, but not the Zombie Survival Guide. Um, actually, it was very interesting. And it was strange because I saw the movie World War Z before reading the book. And I was like, they could have done the movie so much better. But I can see what they were trying to do with the movie, but it did not make sense. So um, I'm going to donate those because I'm not going to read those again. Stephen King's It. Look how massive this book is, guys. It's freaking huge. It's huge. Um, I got this for my husband for Christmas one year, and he's never opened it. <laughs> he does who has time to go through? I mean, just to be fair, to be to play devil's advocate, like, mm, read the book I got you, but also who has time? Um, so I'll keep that in case he ever wants to crack it open. Then we have got Ninja, the Shadow Warrior. This is probably some random thing I picked up at um, Barnes & Noble. So I'll get rid of that, donate that. Serena, pff, boring, donate that. The Hobbit. I will ask my husband um, if he wants to keep it or not, um, because I don't want it. Gone Girl, this book. Um, I will, what will I do? I'll keep it. Okay, I have got The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Excellent books, I'll keep those. And then I have Divergent, getting rid of that. Donate, I, I had the whole set and I got rid of all of them except Divergent and now I'm getting rid of Divergent. So there goes the whole series. Um, and then whew, this whole, I keep slapping my legs. Sorry if that bothers you guys. I'm sorry if I keep, if you don't like that. Um, I'll try to stop now that I'm aware that I'm doing it. But we have got the Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Books one through five. The Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters, Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. These were fun books, but I don't think that I'm going to read them again but my husband might want to hold on to them. So I think I'm going to keep this set. But then we have The Lost Hero, um, The Son of Neptune. It's like a, oh, The Heroes of Olympus. It's a second series by the same guy with some of the same characters. 
Um, I'm going to get rid of these ones, I think. So the Lost Hero, the Son of Neptune, the Mark of Athena, House of Hades, and the Blood of Olympus. And then we come to Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. I'm going to keep these. I enjoy them. I enjoy them. And then the very last thing on the shelf is Harry Potter Insults Handbook. This was a Christmas gift. This is kind of for kids. It's for kids, really, but it's fun. It's cute. I think I'll donate it, though. Um, I don't see me. I mean, I've, I've browsed through it and had my fun, so I'll let someone else have fun with it now. And that is the end of this shelf. You can... That was loud. It is very dusty hope that doesn't bother you um so i'm gonna put my keepers back up on there and see what that looks like and here is the middle shelf so much more clean now the bottom that's gonna be a beast so for this last shelf most of it is going to be star wars books i'm going to keep most of the star wars books um maybe getting rid of one here or there but there are a few other things that i can go through such as harry potter and the cursed child um the journey behind the scenes of the award-winning stage production this was a gift from this christmas which was really cool and it's really fancy and cool and i'm gonna keep it so keep pile okay let's go for the big stuff first i have got the encyclopedia of the presidents um and in their times and I think this came I got this when I was a kid I think that was when Bush was president let me see yeah the very last entry in here is George W Bush so um it's a little outdated now but that's what happens when time moves on uh, I will keep this because it's actually very informative um cool now I have got a bunch of like let's see I have a bunch of like kids books, Beatrix Potter books, The Tale of the Squirrel Nutkin, The Tale of Jemima Puddle Duck, The Tale of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Here's Pooh Goes Visiting. Here's a Pocahontas and a Snow White. I think I will keep um, Pooh Goes Visiting, Pocahontas and Snow White. I will get rid of the Beatrix Potter. That's just, um, it uses language that we don't really use anymore. I was trying to read it to my um, niece one time and I was like, okay, I don't even know what's happening because the, I don't, I don't know how these words. Um, and then I have a collection of comics of um, like, like uh, the newspaper funnies um, for mutts. I love mutts. I always liked that one, um, reading that in the newspapers when I was growing up. So I will keep that that actually came from my parents house they were decluttering and they gave me and my siblings these old books then i have curious george i read that with my the young ones in my life when they come over i have amelia bedelia and um ramona and her father okay I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to these for now a lot of these i'm like when i have kids in the future i'll have these books so i have looney tunes i have mickey mouse i have Dumbo, 101 Dalmatians, some princess book. <laughs> um, more Beatrix Potter, I will donate that. Another one, I will donate that. And I have the Lion King here. Then I have got just a little critter collection. This is another book that I read a lot as a kid, was the little critter. Um, so giving that. Let's see, I have a Sudoku <laughs> book. Um, and let me, let me sort these out right now. I'm going too fast for myself. Next up, we have got Fallout 4 Vault Dwellers Survival Guide. We'll keep that. That one's fun. Um, and then we have a collection of ElfQuest comics. Now this is, um, a fantastic, fantastic series of comics. I only have a little bit. There's an extensive amount. This is something that I grew up reading, um, I love this series and it came out in like the 70s and my dad has a huge collection of the comics but it's just it's beautiful artwork and there um the storytelling 
is fantastic. The artwork is fantastic. Uh, I love it. So keep. Then I have a People magazine from um, shortly after Carrie Fisher passed away. I'm going to be keeping this. And then I've got some um, photo albums. <laughs> some photo albums down here. I will um, remove these. Obviously, I'm going to keep these. This is my wedding photo album. That's me and my husband. There we are kissing. We're kissing. I know. Gross, right? Um, there's him in his um, blues, his blue camo. And then this is an old one. So I'll just set these to the side. Obviously, I'm not donating, but donating those. And then I think we are going to dig into Star Wars now. Okay, so as you can see, there was a location change. And it's because it was going to take so, so long for me to get through all of my Star Wars books if I stayed in the back room. So I pre-staged everything out here. I laid out what I'm going to keep over here and what I'm going to donate over there. So let's see it. These are going to be my keepers. We'll start out at the top corner. We have the 501st, then we have Darth Plagueis, we have the Dark Lord trilogy, the um, novelization of the original trilogy movies, Star Wars, The Courtship of Princess Leia, The Lords of the Sith, we have a Darth Maul book, I Jedi. This is basically the life and times of Obi-Wan Kenobi and the life and times of um, Anakin Skywalker. Then we have Star Wars Attack of the Clones novelization. And we have Heir to the Empire, the set one, two, and three. Last Command, Dark Force Rising, Heir to the Empire. And then we have the bottom row. This was given to my husband on Christmas. It's very, very nice about the uh, Skywalker saga. Then we have Dark Disciple. That's about Ventress. We have um, Kenobi about his time on Tatooine. Then we have Leia, Princess of Alderaan, which I'm currently reading. Then we have Ahsoka, which I just finished reading. Then we have Queen's Shadow, which I adore and did a book review of on my channel. And then we actually have another um, of the Queen's Shadow. And this is in a variant cover that only just came out in paperback. And I'm a crazy person and I bought another copy because it's so beautiful. So <laughs> I do have two versions of the same book, but I am going to keep them both. So those are my keepers. And then this is my donate pile. Now let's start over here. We have Mission from Mount Yoda. That was kind of, I, I picked that up as a joke at a uh, library sale. Then we have Bloodline. I just don't care very much for that book. Then we have the entire Legacy of the Force series. There are nine books in the series. They're not actually in chronological order right now. I just stack them up on top of each other, but we have Invincible, Tempest, Inferno, Fury, Exile, Bloodlust, Revelations, Sacrifice, and Betrayal. Then right here we have Vision of the Future and Spectre of the Past. We have the new Jedi Order, Onslaught, Ruin, and Vector Prime. I actually had a second edition of Attack of the Clones, so I'm just going to keep one of them. Then we have Dynasty of Evil with Darth Bane. Then we have Approaching Storm, Survivor's Quest, The Journal of Queen Amidala, and then this set of Jedi Academy books. We have Jedi Search, Dark Apprentice, and Champions of the Force. And those are my donates. And there is my totally decluttered bookshelf. I am very happy with the way it looks right now. It looks so much less jumbled and it is not all in like a good order so I can totally like set it up better but that will take organizing in the future. Future me can worry about that right now. <laughs> um, but it looks so good I think. I think it looks good. And not only does it look good, I was also able to get my goal accomplished which was to fit my seven Harry Potter books on the shelf instead of having to put them on the top. So I'm very pleased about that. Now, of course, 
it's still uh, disorganized a little bit, but I really just wanted to shove all the books on here to make sure that they would all fit and what it would look like. And I'm happy with it. So um, my next step will be to organize the books, but I am not going to be doing that in this video. This video is already pretty long. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is not the final step for me, but future, future Bonnie can worry about it for now. But the very last thing to do is put my little knickknacks and collectibles back on my shelves. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Going through all those books and carrying them out here has left me hungry, thirsty, and my muscles are a little sore. They're, you can't see them, but they're, they, they don't exist. That's why you can't see them. But I'm very glad to be done. <laughs> it is less of an eyesore, which is very nice for my brain. And I'm just gonna have to find a place to actually stow them away until I can go out and actually properly donate them. Of course, I'll be asking friends and family if there's anything I have that they want that I'm donating. But yeah, it was a lot of work and I'm done and I am glad. So thank you so much for joining me on this little decluttering journey. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. I hope to see you again soon. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.